What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, my God, we have to talk about some cyberpunk stuff, and we got to talk about it now. Uh, there's there's some confusing things around the internet. Uh, I think, honestly, a lot of drama, but I want to single in on the game length of, you know, of cyberpunk. Talk about what we know, talk about what seems like some misinformation, again, some drama there, and go from there. As always, if you guys do like this stuff, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on. Whatever happens, I will continue to cover it, and starting Thursday, there'll be a almost daily coverage of Cyberpunk once I get the game. I'll be playing it, there'll be loads of stuff Cyberpunk related on the channel. So if you guys do like Cyberpunk, again, a good reason to subscribe. Okay, the game is out. It's been out as in, well, people have it. And not just people as in critics, but it's also made its way to people that didn't even, you know, aren't even critics, right? Some people actually say they got theirs early, like they pre-ordered it, and it got delivered to their house early. And a lot of drama is stirring up. And honestly, the main one, I would say, is from Dreamcast Guy. Now, I don't know, and I've heard of him, but I've never watched any of his stuff. I don't know what kind of person he is, but... He tweeted out that he had the game, and he was a little uh, disingenuous with it, right? He tweeted out that he had the game, then he later clarified that it, he, it came early, that, that CD Projekt Red didn't give it to him, that it just came early, and he needed to make note of that. But then he made waves, my God. He made waves when all of a sudden the length of the game started coming out. And he posted all this, and it was taken down. And so, you know, we really only have the what people, like, wrote from it and stuff like that. Uh, we also have uh, Swanee Plays Games, right? And he's a guy who used to cover a lot of Battlefront stuff. He's moved on to Cyberpunk. He did a video where he addressed some of the drama and the game length, but he took the video down because he didn't want CD Projekt Red to get mad. After the video, it already had like 100,000 uh, views on it. Now, I actually like him. Uh, I don't really watch... Uh, I, I used to watch some of his Battlefront videos, but I don't really watch him anymore. I was going... I think he put that video up on like a Saturday. I was so busy on Saturday. I wanted to watch it. And then when I got around to watching it he took the video down so if you guys maybe watch that video and you know something that he said that maybe can answer any of these questions definitely uh, let me know in the comments below but pretty much from Dreamcast guy we got a couple things the gameplay doesn't get old the main campaign is about 11 hours long 21 hours was spent uh was t was time spent first time booting up to final boss fight that actually none of that sentence actually makes sense but it's okay 37 hours was the time he spent including side quests half the time was spent learning systems and doing side quests so it took him 37 hours to beat it but the campaign was around 11 hours i feel like i saw somewhere out there that the all that other people were beating the campaign in somewhere in 15 to 20 hours um now i think maybe he even said that in one of his tweets and then maybe he took that that down as well so the issue is this well number one like i don't know what the heck is going on like these games were given out to people weeks in advance it makes sense because the game was gold it, you know went gold we thought that the game was massive and which we'll talk about i i know i said that maybe in a, in a messed up kind of way the game is massive and we'll talk about that in a second but you would you would expect that that's probably why they gave these games out to people so early because it's like well we want you to do everything do everything because if you're not putting in in so many hours then you're not really playing the game and can you actually give a review and all that good stuff okay so then you have all that then you have it making it to people that haven't even gotten the you know that aren't even you know people that got it from cd project red and then you have somebody like dreamcast guy which again i'm not saying anything against his character i don't know the guy i've never watched any of his videos but you know his stuff is breaking the internet i mean factually his stuff is getting attention 11 hours for the main story now again I've seen 15. Let's put it somewhere in that 10 to 15 range. The Witcher 3's main campaign, from what this website says, now it's probably all over the place. It, it They said 50 hours. Now you guys will have to tell me how long it took you, but main quest, 50 hours. I guess you could look at howlongtobeat.com. That's a phenomenal website. That's a website I use sometimes when I'm going into a game. I'm like, all right, how many hours do I need to spend on this game? And I'll look it up there. They do things for like the main story. They do like completionists. But, you know, 50 hours, that seems about right for The Witcher 3 on the top of my head. And then you have, if you do everything in The Witcher, it's probably closer to like 200 hours if you do literally everything the game has to offer that's a lot and remember the thing was with, with uh, cd project red and the thing with cyberpunk was that this game and this world was going to be smaller than the witcher 3 but it was going to be more condensed there was going to still be all this life and all this stuff to do and remember we even had those play testers playing the game and saying that it was taking them 175 even 200 hours and they hadn't done everything yet so i don't know what the heck it, so you could 
that's just weird to me. I, and I don't know. You know, I have opinions on it. I, I guess I have a hard way, or I have. I'm having a hard time, like, kind of getting my opinions out to you guys. But ten hours for the main campaign, and then 190 for everything else, kind of seems backwards. You know what I mean? It's odd. I mean, Cy uh, Cyberpunk. Here's the deal with Cyberpunk, and I've noticed this especially over the last little while. It's getting. It's so popular to hate this game. It's also popular to love it. But it's. It's. I would say, and I know it's probably a vocal minority on the internet. But it seems like it's becoming more and more and more of a popular thing to to attack this game. Whether it be from I don't know the day one patch. Which I mean, and here's the deal. It's also it's fair to criticize. And I'm not, you know, below criticism or above criticism. Like, I'm going to criticize this game. If there's something I don't like about this game, I'm going to call it out. If there's things I love about this game, I'm going to call it out. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say, like, I blindly love it. I'm not going to just blindly hate it either. Okay? Um, you know, I don't like that the fact that this game is absolutely enormous. It's one of the biggest games to ever come out. Okay? I don't like that. I don't like that the day one patch is almost as big as the game itself. I don't like that. I don't like that. It does seem like there's some downgrades across the board from the very small things that we've seen now at the time i'm recording this i'm recording this monday you guys are seeing this earlier in the day tuesday reviews aren't out yet i assume they're coming out either later monday or sometime today on tuesday okay so maybe this stuff that i'm saying now will become outdated but when i'm recording this there are no reviews nobody's really talking about it except for people that aren't really allowed to talk about it and therefore they're breaking some sort of nda rules but it does seem more popular to uh, to hate on this game. There are some things, uh, like some clips of the game where it doesn't look all that great. Okay, so I'm st and I should make this clear. I've been a fan of this game, or I've been like anticipating this game for years. I'm very excited for this game. I love The Witcher Three. I am probably in the bandwagon of like anticipation that I am. I, I'm not. I'm not part of like the, I'm just gonna hate it to hate group. Again, if there's things to hate about it, all more, the more power to you. Okay, I'm not against that at all. And again, if there are things bad with this game, I will call them out when the game comes out. But what and what I will say, I guess, is this: the the game length that is something to call out. I don't think that's. Um, that's not something that I think you just kind of give them a pass on, in, in my opinion. If you want to, again, that's totally up to you. But to me, I, I, okay, I'll be flat out honest with you, right? Here's the honesty part. I was not expecting this game to only take 10 hours if I rushed through the story. Okay, honestly, uh, and again, it's just one guy. It's just one guy. But if it took him 37 hours to do what he felt was enough in terms of side missions, in terms of leveling up to get ready for the main stuff, if it took him 37 hours to beat this game, that's, uh, you know, that's a lot of time. That's a time that, you know, I, I have a very hard time beating games in general. So, honestly, a game that's that length of time isn't the worst thing in the world for me. But I'll tell you, I, I'm anticipating a ginormous game, okay? The reason I haven't played Persona 5 is because it's 100-plus hours, and that terrifies me. I put 60 hours into Ghost of Tsushima. I'm capable of putting a lot of hours into games. I just don't all that often because probably mainly because of the channel, also because of my life. Just I, I have a really hard time beating games. Just in it could be a 10-hour game. I would have a tr I would have trouble beating it. If you increase the game to 30, 40, 50 hours, I have trouble beating it. I think I beat The Last of Us Part 2 in like 25 hours. So again, I mean, it's possible that I can beat games and play long lengths of games. And it's odd because you would say, well, maybe, Alex, you would want it to be shorter in length. Actually, I don't. This is the game that I was expecting. December 10th, Hitman 3 comes out, I believe, January 20th. So that's 41 days in all. I was expecting to play Cyberpunk for the majority of those days. Maybe start another game here or there, you know, play something over the Christmas time and stuff like that. But for the most part, for the next 40 days, let's say, I was expecting to play a lot of Cyberpunk. Maybe, And maybe I put two hours into it every day. That's 80 hours. But if I can finish the game in 30 or 40, I mean, that's... Way less than I thought. So if we are being honest here, and again, this is just, he could be lying. He could be doing it for a, attention, and oh my God, he's gotten attention. So I, I, I can't rule that out. And again, I don't know the guy, so I, I also can't rule anything out, okay? Um, so he could just be doing it for attention. But if he's right, that's, that's tough. Because although that's a, still a lot of time, people are expecting this game to take them hundreds of hours. And if people are beating the game in three, four days worth of time, I don't know if that's going to sit well with people. You know what I mean? Like, if somebody just starts the game Thursday in the morning or Wednesday night and they're done with it by, like, Sunday, 
I don't think that's what people want from a game that's taken them seven years to get out. You know what I mean? Or a game that people have known about since 2013. I don't think that's exactly what people were expecting. So this could blow up really, really quickly. It could also just be somebody making stuff up, and maybe he literally was just rushing through it to get a review out, and maybe we're going to see through these reviews that people were spending 80, 90, 100, 110 hours in this game. If that's the case, then he's just doing it for attention, and the video, really, this video can be taken as just that and that the game is actually okay but let me know guys in the comments below what do you think do you think he's lying do you think that's the truth did you watch that swanee plays maybe he answered the question in his video let me know as always make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up and like i said i'm gonna be covering cyberpunk loads over the coming days over the coming weeks if there's anything else controversial like this that comes out over the coming days i will for sure cover it as well okay thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it I hope to see you all on the next video.